Hello Libra, welcome back. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of October 2021. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below. If you're interested in scheduling a private appointment with me for a reading, there is a link to my website in the description box. You can go there to select, purchase, and set up your appointment. You can also follow me on social media, and those links are also down below in the description box. All right, so this is going to be a general love and relationship reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Keep in mind, not all general readings are going to resonate for every single person watching, and they also have no expiration date. So they can resonate at any time. I am a psychic medium, so I can be picking up past, present, or future energies. Keep an open mind. Remember, the future is never set in stone. We all have free will at the end of the day to make our own decisions. All right, so we're going to pull an overall energy message first and see what's going on for my Libras out here in love and relationships. All right. The unicorn. Well, you're just as magical as fuck here. Yes. Good fortune and friendship. Wow. You are just out here living your best life. You are a rare find. It's like they broke the mold when they made you. You are different. You're unique. And good fortune and friendship are with you. All right, let's see what else is going on for my little magical Libras. All right. Love and relationships for Libra, please, Spirit. Okay, off the bottom of the deck, you've got the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but this is making a decision. When it comes to love and relationships, there could have been a third party. you got somebody hiding out in the closet here. Somebody's getting their freak on. Watching you. It's number six, number of healing and balance. All right. And then we've got the three of pentacles. Again, third party energy here. But they might want to now cooperate. They've... Uh, they weren't cooperating before, and they, now they feel sorry for you, and now they want to help. I've fallen, and I can't get up. Oh, my goodness. Um, two of swords. This is the minor arcana version of justice. Having to make a decision. Weighing out the head and the heart. Taking a, a time out, a pause, to make a decision whether or not you want to Maybe get involved in a threesome or a third party situation or if you're going to, you know, let this person back in after they had you involved in a third party. Um, this is about, you know, compromises and making an unbiased, fair decision here and taking that time to do that. Uh, hanged man here, Pisces energy, feeling stuck. There's been no communication. Someone might have ghosted, left you hanging. Um, but this is also about aligning yourself, mind, body, and spirit. It's Christ consciousness. Somebody could have been acting like a martyr, having this, you know, constant pity party, feeling, you know, this woe is me energy. And um, there's someone that could be hanging out here trying to make a decision, and they've just kind of gotten themselves stuck. There could be some skeletons in the closet coming out here possibly having to do with a third party situation. On the bottom is Eight of Swords. This is about, you know, being stuck, keeping yourself stuck in re repetitive thoughts, repetitive patterns, knowing that you can free yourself, but you're allowing someone to keep you stuck and make you feel insecure and worthless. This is someone who's got very low self-esteem. Okay. You have to make a decision and follow your heart here. And don't let somebody keep you stuck. Somebody definitely ghosted you and made you feel less than when you're this awesome unicorn. OK. 
Okay, you have, you know, you, luck is with you and you have good friends to support you through this. Um, there could be a work situation here or some something going on in a, in a public place of business as well. You've got supportive friends here. It's like you just need to reach out and ask for help. Don't try to do everything yourself. Um, you know, so you could be sitting back and watching your friends and, and other people fall in love and, you know, wondering, you know, why, why are you like chopped liver? It's like you feel like you're overlooked, like people aren't appreciating you for your talents. Okay. So take some time out. You'll make the right decision here. And I think you're aligning to your own desires. Libra, we're going to take the rest of your story over to Vimeo. I'm going to clarify these major arcana for you. We're going to get some advice from Spirit and some love messages. I'll post the link down below for your convenience. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.